If you're looking to buy cheap Rocket League items, be sure to check out today's sponsor, RL Exchange. They support all platforms and offer a wide selection of Rocket League items to choose from. They have multiple payment options and fast delivery. Use code RLH at checkout for a 3% discount on your entire purchase. Off the ceiling. Atomic right in the box. Just had to get out of the way. G1 and looking good as the offenses keep rolling. And Oli gets past a few to the right post. Nothing else DT could do. Good looks there from Oli. And he got a lot of time on the ball here. You can see he pulled off. He got two to jump. Max was still was able to recover. But then LCT couldn't get up at all. Away. 14 shots to two right now in favor of G1. <laughs> like, that's, that's tough. 62% of ball touches yeah. is something that you noted in that first match. A Gladiator struggled to get possession of the ball at all. Their backs are against the wall and they continue to be. A hat trick trickles in for Atomic and, and, and only was the one to set him up, but it, it, you're right. Why should G1 I, put off when they put on when they do have the ball? I, I think that's really the key here, right, for Gladiators is they're going to need to find the offense. Uh, something similar to what G1 had is that one's wide open for Oli. And G1 picking up where they left off with a 1-0 lead. OSN and have clear control. You have Oli that pinches it down. Smart move. But you need to see more presence from the Gladiators. There it is. They're demoing. This gives them some room to breathe. But not if they don't have the ball. They can't produce anything. Yeah, you got to get something going. Demos can certainly beat that. <laughs> and Oli, a hat trick for him. Off the ceiling he goes. And it just feels like G1 can do no wrong. This is the newest signing of this roster. Clearly now a shot. shot on target, trying to maintain possession for Gladiators, but G1 get a decent clear, buys them some time, buys them some space. Only crossing to different sides of the net, to the pass, oh Max my. misses the touch off the back wall, and G1 capitalizes. And you can feel Oli just chase this one across the field, and a touch to the backboard, that hard stuff to read. Max couldn't get there, to they, it. And honestly, they have been. It hasn't been a lot, but they, there, ha there have been plenty of chances for Gladiators throughout this series. One of their better looks. There's G1, oh my Ooh. goodness, Atomic's already there and he's gonna drop it down. G1 in the lead off a worldie of a touch. The passes have been beautiful throughout the series oh for my. G1. Look at that in mid-air and Gladiators. Our attack is what we wanted to see more of from the Gladiators, but G1's challenges, they've been winning a lot of them to take back the ball whenever Gladiators feel like they can generate something oh. and Atomic dunks it in for G1. And you can see, I think it was LCT was the first man to go. He jumped up for it, tried to get the save. Max came down and actually made the save. Atomic but has G1. had some very quick reactions for G1 defensively to make good stops in this OT. 14 shots to nine in favor of G1, and 15 oh, could do it. That was too high. Atomic will put it home and put Gladiators to bed. G1 on top in the 4-0. He's off the cross or off LCT, the double tap, but slotted in by oh, Atomic. He's handing away the ball. Deuce, no, he was happy to take over. That one's on target to die for just there in time. Well, Valiant starting to move backwards, and that's where they are the best with the counter attacks and Sweaty getting his first, and he was the player we were looking for. Well, time to give it a go. 90 seconds on the board. board. Give Sweaty a chance. Early pre-jump from to die for. Something that we have not seen from Limitless at this point in the tournament. You can tell that when they're against regional opponents, they are a lot more comfortable. And Snowy will add more comfort to the lead. He cannot give them any room to get in this game, and Snowy's going to prove just why. Gets the flip reset. Sweaty even Haven't been able to do that on land. From what I've here, they've been very upset. The mentality hasn't been great as well, so it may be extra important here for them to get a strong victory so that they are mentally good for the next round. Oh, what a shot! And Snowy finds the bouncing shot, finds the top corner. Limitless can't seem to shoot anywhere else. The die fall goes high. You can see no backboard defense ready back for Valiant. Play. So Limitless re-establishing themselves in this series. Valiant had a very good start here to game number two. Looking to try to continue it. Darth, he's been bumped. <laughs> he's been bulldozed. He has been removed. Like a shark circling. Willow runs straight forward, trusting his teammates to get the shot on, and see you later, Darth. get up to this ball, but it will build some space for Willow. And Willow past one, tries to dunk. And to die for, had that well scouted. 
That's now his turn, and he's got past, well, far too easily. Way, way too easily. I think if you're Valiant and you're disrespecting Snowy, you oh, know you're bump. in okay. the wrong. Okay. A great bump from Darth, of course, to help that out. Yes, the camera angle did defense, not... But look at that, a pass to no one. Up against the backboard to die for, looking for the bump, but another miss! And that's needed. Valiant have got to not let this ball oh, in. No! The 2 nil could be too much! It's top right again! Well, I know that they're from the same region, but you're not teammates. Don't pass it over to Snowy Willow. Now it's on target. Sweaty scrambles and he just does enough. They put on the vice and Valiant just managed to escape. A big miss for us to die for. Actually gives Willow a chance. Can he get a pass? The last he does. A chance for Valiant. One whiff and Willow had his opportunity. Pass off. Tips the ball away from Snowy. One goal game. Yeah. Va He's going for round number two, and oh my goodness, maybe an inroad for Valiant. Yeah, Valiant have got to take everything they're given at the moment, and they're being given a real difficult go. time. One nil limitless. It is relentless. There's no limit to the amount of pressure they could put on here. Massive dunk from to die for. Darth followers up, and Snowy's right there. So again, he draining the boost away, and they're actually going to just opt to slow it down to die for. He's toying with the Valiant, losing their hopes in front of their eyes against their patriotic teammates. Limitless will go through 4-0 as Snowy pops off. We will see you in the next round. Valiant are eliminate, eliminate, eliminated and limitless. It's a post there, first bumped into the center and a Twisted Minds teammate demoed him to make doubly sure he could not be there to make the save. The equalizer is had nice and early. You're talking about Twisted Minds having to stop oh! quick. He doesn't get any faster than that. <laughs> SMW waited late to get the reset oh. here. The interception from Venom took the ball away from Falcons again. Look how quickly he used that flip after so getting it. This time. That's how you keep them surprising. And it goes for a demo as well. The aggressive play on the floor is just huge for both these teams. Yes. Another chance here for Twisted Mind. Senzo puts it in the top corner. Well, Ahmad called the fake too late. Khaled couldn't catch up to it. And TRK missed his interception. That gave Senzo an opportunity. But did he take him? Such a long time for Falcons. Twisted Minds defending from the front to a T. Keeping this ball penned in the Falcons' corner so often. Whenever it goes in that back right or forward oh. right, Falcons just can't escape and eventually it falls to Senzo. SMW wins a 50-50 against Khaled, wins one against TRK, then wins another one against Khaled. And Senzo's Good waiting in the middle. Man. Faking out the demo against him and making sure that the defending is as easy as possible for his teammates. It takes out a Twisted Minds player. Senzo's to the ceiling. Oh, man. Uh -oh. Oh, there's Whoa. a mistake though from Falcons. You cannot afford to do that. Yeah, TRK had no boost. He goes up the inside of the post of his own goal oh. to try and get some height. It's not height, quite but there, but then they've saved on the goal line instead. So you can see why they are leaving it pretty open. TRK comes in. Ocala's just chasing down Senzo, but those two aren't really involved in the play. It's Armad up against Venom, okay. and he forces it in, and Falcons have awoken. More mind games from Falcons. Ahmad here. Brings the ball down, fakes the immediate shot. That got the pre jump from Venom. The late flip from Ahmad. Oh. Sneak under and kill it. Venom saw it coming. Oh, Khaled. He continues. Ahmad, does he turn? Not quite. And SMW has a chance to go down the other side. So TRK sneaks in there, and TRK just pushes it home. And Falcons surely secure game four. Well, you know, if it was Falcons' inaccuracy that cost them the last game, they've made up for it in this one. Another great shot. He's starting to work of... against them with two minutes left of game five. Yeah, they're definitely rushing it a bit here. They cannot afford to concede one more time. Give Falcons even more confidence. Callum with the outplay. Ahmad read it well. And Twisted Minds did not spot it. And look at this pre-flip here from Khaled. Hitting the ball on the side that they were not covering. They thought that one was going across the box. Team. It's actually a... It's a little bit quiet from Twisted Minds. They need a spark, Johnny. Who's it going to be that will step up? Yeah, Twisted Minds have already impressed so much this wildcard weekend, but they're in trouble now. Khaled gets the opening goal. There was a Twisted Minds defender in the area, but this time the touch did not come through. Venom jumped in the wrong direction. Khaled the realized here. Multiple players from Falcons were low on boost. It's Khaled who's just picked up 100 as once again, boost runs drive for pretty much the entire lobby at the same time. Oh! That's the 1v1 play, Khaled. 
makes the 2 0. No one gets goal side, and you need to against a player like him. He makes it look so simple, but it's all in the decision making. The yeah. perfect There's no follow up there for Senzo. Yeah, sadly, the Twisted Minds players are just too deep, camped too far back. As Senzo misses, it's a tired lunge at the ball from them, whereas Falcon seem reinvigorated. TRK shoots and oh, surely wow. scores, and he does, giving Falcons the lead. Well, I think they believe now. Yells echoing through the players' area as TRK puts Falcons up by one. Dolph won from Space Station Gaming at the Spring Major last season. Now they're the team trying to make it happen. Ahmad wins that kickoff as well, wants to follow it home. He's up against SMW, TRK, Bronson in the bottom right. <laughs> Everything is going Falcon's way. TRK pointing across the stage at their opponents. You know, he told you these guys are friends off the field, but right now, Falcons want nothing more. It's than... going to go, it's going to fall down. Oh, that's the Falcons. Seven seconds oh. away, Senzo's there. Venom. There's fakes happening, oh. there's misses, and there's clearances from TRK. SMW to the ceiling, Senzo's underneath it. Everybody's oh desperate my. for the ball. But it's not gonna happen! Takeover? What takeover? Falcons remain the kings of Mina and put Twisted Minds in their place! What a series, the first best of seven reverse sweep in Rocket League land history. Aim to have always been up there in the standings in their own region. Really just keep avoiding each other <laughs> back at home, but they have found each other in what could be the final stage for hopefully one of the, well, the winning team. Lovely yeah, championships, and maybe. It's the G2 Nation. Naughty Bear team were working on the pitch. 90 seconds in, dead on Chicago. Goes high, finds an Atomic. Straight back down to Why? his compatriot. The you wanted. Intelligent 50 is coming in as well for G2. Seeing they've got a teammate nearby, get a 50 down towards them. Not just going for something errant, not just going for the sake oh, of it. Oh, that is a ridiculous shot from Atomic off the sidewall. Atomic, man. It's too early for this. It's only the wild card. This kid says get me to the main that? event, look at the angle! I'm sending I'm anyone to hospital here, ladies and gents, but I mean, what Atomic's okay, been great doing. Job, Atomic's been breaking ankles, to be fair. So there's been some things going on on the G2 offense, but AJG wants to start strong. Game two, drop down, there we oh. go! My word. Not just AJG on this play, up for that double. He could do it also thanks to Ray's ball. I think the demo just made it look cooler. That was a great read from AJG. The explosion coming through as well, but that's a great response off that rough game one. But what a power! Oh, what a response! What an answer back from Atomic. We got 1-1 one, one early. Straight away as well, off the kick of Atomic <laughs> goes high. So JNAPS goes high, and Atomic is the man to receive. And the everyone should be more terrified of. Yeah, the, he, a T Bates was was challenging the opinion of Jorby as JNAPS was. Oh, he was saying how JNAPS was just so mechanical and perhaps you know more mechanical than Atomic. Love but me. oh, hang on a minute. The classic G2 counter attack. What's happened to complexity? AJG CRR's in no man's land. Has to flip out of the way. And again, the pass so early. Plays. They don't need an extra goal. They just need to hold it out here, Stumpy. We got 50 on the clock. He said about the coaching of these teams, discipline is something that we see oh, big in miss. sports, but a miss again. What is going on with that backboard? A huge miss from Chicago. He had no one on the backboard. The demo came through. Two demos came through. Two demos I mean, through. Jane Axe is going to work. He's trying to find everyone. Chicago throwing it high. They're in trouble. Complexity. Great weed from Ray's ball, but it sent CRR as well. They're so low. No one with boost. Ray's ball finally finds a hundred. But the top bids, guess who Jane has top slot? They're able to work it back. The fourth for G2 is the nail in that coffin, but that coffin should have been buried a long time ago. Great touch from Chicago. He's going to find Atomic. He's got no boost of his own. CRR trying to find AJG. Bit of miscommunication, though. Usually you'd see AJG already on the corner, and that means there's an open shot. Raceful front post. Atomic just turns. Oh! He just turns off the corner and says, thank you very much. Atomic dropping the bomb top right. It's a minute and a half, and it is magnificent. It's it it rolling right now for G2. It is sent down. They're a little bit awkward. Complexity trying to grab the lead. Jane Apps just forcing the flick out. Chicago's there. Atomic's on the counter. So it's burn. on target. Raceville can't get back. G2 grabbed the lead again. You see the elation for G2 as well, knowing this is going to be a hard fought battle. And Atomic in his own half just needs to tip that ball onward. AJG breaks. And with JNAPS taking it to the corner, G2, they're going to want to continue this series how they started, with sheer undying pressure. Yeah, this is all. Oh, it's a great pass for Ray's ball. He's got to put this on target. Oh. Almost saved out from Atomic. 
the complexity, the perfect start to perhaps another fairy tale. Manages to just about sneak in. It's not just just above the crossbar as well. Razor now going central, but these bump opportunities and complexity existing within about two microns of each other. A demo opens up that back wall. Oh, Razor in trouble. Balls in trouble. Jnaps shoots. Jnaps is the target man. He just finds Razor in all sorts. CRR meets it, but he doesn't get anything. And guess who? It's Jnaps. Who boosts? He can't work out with his own heart. He can't get it, Razor. But what have you got in the locker, buddy? He flicks it across. It's Atomic. Tries to get it down. All they need to do is kill two more seconds. Is it going to be G2? Is it going to be North America's dream? Making it through the wild card in three. AJG trying Scary. to keep it alive. CRR's there. Atomic just trying to wheel the ball down. There it is. G2 Esports. 3 0 wild card. Hello, main event. They are them. G2 Esports, what a statement series that ended up being. To opening up a lot of chances. Here he goes again, Virtuoso headhunting on the third man. Cash dodges him, gets a nice little clear forward. And it should be business as usual on this transition for Moist Esports 2v1. A demo opportunity, and it's just a musty flick that sends it in. Yep, nice job here from Joyo, but also downfield from Cash. See him just get in the way, Virtuoso. He gets pushed off to the side a little bit. At a first Another game loss for Elevate. Oh, Juicy. It's going to stay flat. Now, Moist. <laughs> They're just going back and forth yeah. here on the orange third. Cash coming in as well. What a pass! What? My <laughs> God! That's some nasty work from Cash! All right, it's official. Cash on the Octane is goaded. This Whoa. man just <laughs> let, him, let him stay on that car. He doesn't even need a Dominus if he's in passes up. like that. An opportunity. That's what you want to see if you're a fan of Elevate. And if you watched that series yesterday, G1 up against Elevate, there was a lot of backboard oh. read whiffs. Wow. And speaking of backboard plays, nobody's there that can drop down to get this save. Joyo, nice 50-50, patiently waiting behind it, and it uh, bounces in. Virtuoso oh, expecting real a bit of space. But I do like what I'm seeing from Elevate when they are on defense. They're trying to slow it down. They're trying to get those stutter steps to win that 50. And it is working. They are breaking out. They're putting there shots it is. on it, and they're scoring some goals. Realize gets his second. Realize off the pass from Virtuoso to the corner. And I think Cash expected a double tap from Virtuoso, who wanted to step fall ahead. It feels like every moment of the way. Cash. Oh, gets the bump on Virtuoso. Gives him a taste Joyo. of his own medicine, and now Joyo gets a free space, a free pass, and Juicy nails it! And what more do you want out of Moist Esports? Joyo to the ceiling, what? saves his flip, and it's also a pre-flip into this the shot. This has to feel a little revitalizing after the series yesterday against Twisted Minds. Did not go the way they wanted it to. They knew that they could play a little bit better, but Virtuoso with a nice little reset goal! Hey, Elevate aren't done yet! And he might have not gotten the first opportunity, but the second one comes through and he puts it away. At least stop 140. Would have been a decent elevate try. Now they get a demo it. to get to the corner, but you got to get back to the ball. And Cash is going to make that one difficult for you. Carries it, pops over one. He's get the he demo got the two. Bump, and Cash the cannon fires. Cash refreshed on the octane. Virtuoso turned early, Cash pops it over, and Realize gets absolutely air. sucker punched. That's the thing is, when you, when, even when you are playing well and you force Moist to do a little bit more, it gets a little bit harder. And Cash, he's had a couple of sick plays. He had that pass in game one off the corner, and then that play right there, the solo yeah. effort, Elevate, will drop to Moist. Moist will move to a 2-1 and one record and only need one more series to qualify for the main event, elevate one away from being eliminated. And that's what you love to see out of Moist, the talent coming out with the solo plays. And we got a little taste of everything from Moist. It, 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 it wasn't just what a if really- drops just cuts in there? What, what, if, what, what if it's drops? Maybe maybe I was wrong thinking it's Drew Finio. I think, I think our brains linked for a second. I was literally about to talk about drops. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> drops just picked up in the ethos, connected with us right there, picks up the first goal. Uh, it's like, I always know what I'm going to get out of Drew Fo. I always know what I'm going to get out of, Drew, uh, of Brad Bake on the goal line. My goodness. Oh. Beaver up in front of it. Gonna let it go for Amphis, but that did not work out the way they wanted it to. Now Brad's got control and a reset. Brad's got oh. a goal!
That's the problem with Brad. He sits so far back sometimes, he just waits and waits, the ball comes at him, and then bam, you, he always has oh. space to work with. And he's so them good. To stay on the offensive third here. Torsas trying to figure out how to maintain possession. Dumped out a little too hard there for Crew in the pitch. Yo! Hey! <laughs> the Cooks here pinched from Amphis, and they get a goal. Not one you see very often, and he was able to figure it out. He had to cover a lot of space there Ooh. in the midfield, so he's like, I'm not sure which way I'm that supposed to go. But They're running out of time. Drops on the side, but Trefinio's going to take it. The ceiling. Really developing here. Power just. Oh, awkward. Oh, wait. Amphis, he's in trouble, and Brad punishes. Plants his flag on the net. Power got a little handcuffed here. You can see Fever and Amphis both locked on the backboard, and so they're thinking, how do we get this? And then they couldn't really figure out how. Can't Operating really go for it. for them and starting to equalize the pressure, put them more on the orange half. Oh, Amphis. He's looked pretty threatening when he's got Whoa. space, and it's a free ball! Crew get tied up, and they can't find their axles! They both try to defend this backboard touch. It got through Brad, and Drufo's thinking, I have to dismount, because this ball... Just goes straight forward instead of the follow-up, and then a dump by Drufinho. Actually gets back to it. Now power. They got a lot of boost in the tank, but he flips off the ball, and it's a free net for Brad! What are you going to do? You're in the right position, but if you miss the ball, that pressure is going to be there from Crew. They were waiting to see if something happened. You could see Brad kind of hesitate in the midfield, says, Car control are you gonna... on your own half. Let's see if Power can make that adjustment. They got nice. their extra 60 seconds. Catch, that's okay. You got the follow-up, but the follow-up gets blown through. Yo! Oh, Brad, hello! What can you say? I, th I think they did exactly what I wanted. Amphis went for the fake there, and Brad's just like, I don't care. I'm playing the ball 100%. And that's just Brad trying to go out there and Power make a big play. under Fever. Amphis turning back around. The dunk oh, from Fever wide. to Amphis. He shimmy shakes over one. He can't get the dunk, though. Brad just puts it out to the corner. Still, Power are going to press. Big goal for Fever! Great speed from Fever there at the midfield. You need to see him come through hard here. Torsas goes out to the side to take away the clear option. And this time, Fever knows exactly where oh, that ball is going to be. Go. Careful not to be out of position. Drufo's going to squeeze one off his post. Amphis will let the ball roll for the space. And Power looking to counterattack. Ripped on target. Oh! There's the shot. They're going to game six. They are done. Amphis puts it in. All set up. Torsos with a little lead. He shifted the whole crew rotation to the left side. <laughs> and then the hard beat Settling to the... back in here for game six. I think I think if all, all bets are off if we end up at seven. Oh. I think crew would definitely Whoa. be terrified. You were saying... He's saying, yeah, baby. We're going to seven. Amphis amplifying on this shot through drops, who doesn't even get a touch. Okay. Nice kick. This time that support player in the right spot for the 50. Almost every time. Oh, he power. missed him. But he's there. Oh, the oh, redirect from <laughs> Fever. He's got a Fever. And the only prescription is more power. Oh, I said I missed him. Never mind. He put that baby on a dime right to him. Says, come and get it. Oh, don't, maybe don't go if up. you can't get power off their goal line. I mean, they, 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 never mind. They tried to get physical. They tried. It wasn't working. Now they got the head on a swivel, and it's like, well, OK. Oh, there you go. <laughs> oh, drop. Aerial strike right to Power's net. Six seconds is all it takes. Starts game seven almost exactly like game one, but he says, nah, it's the end of the series. Ball, we gotta a free add a little. shot and a save, but it's too little. Too late for Power. A little musty. It doesn't matter. Catch up. Relish. Nothing for Power. Crew, survive the comeback. Take the victory. Move to two and one. Oh, and they're going to score right at the end. Put an exclamation point on it. Brad says, you guys have been irritating beyond everything I've ever seen in this tournament so far, so we're going to make sure that we get a nice 3-0 to wrap things up. What a show from Crew. What a show from Power. Massive comeback there. Unfortunately, though, kind of felt like game six, you know, where, where Power well, started with that kickoff. the off. final minute. It's LJ beaten by Banana Head. Clean to the corner. Hawksers there. Booming away again. Grub waiting for Arsenal to challenge. Demo. Cut the corner boost deal. And then LJ, after the demolition, finally gets SSG on the board. Look at this full court play here. Arsenal up field. Got that, got that interception. Hoxer gets the demo. Open we are in game two on Forbidden Temple. Space Station Gaming taking the first game. But like you said, Stacks, 
not by a large margin. They're looking to increase that with LJ striking first. He does it all himself, powering through. He had the opening, well, he had the only goal in game one, and he stays with the play. Like it's G2, and G2 pumps, passes, infield plays. They're used to being under pressure for a while. They know how to break out. And they're breaking out here. Arsenal trying to line up the double. It's all oh! the money, and T-Shock gets to bark a little bit louder. You say that, but he's composed. He knew now, he had that one all day long. Beautiful lineup. That is taken away by Scrub. Right now, everybody's got a lot to smile and laugh about right now for the North Americans. That's true. They are oh, Arsenal. In. Oh, okay, okay. You got it, Arsenal. You can have it. Oh, that was just nice. Goes up the wall. Jumps off that with 58 boost. They only used about 20 before he made back contact on the drive with that. here. LJ shot just off the bar. Arsenal trying to follow that one up, but he gets blocked out. Pioneers holding on very closely to the ball. They want to keep the lead. Hoxter trying to play it over one. Can he get the bump again? Clutch saves on defense. Clutch goals on offense. It's Hoxter. Into the final minute. This is about when they scored in game one. Hoxter sends. And then the demolition comes just a little bit too late for Pioneers. It at least keeps SSG from breaking out of their zone, and maybe Pioneers can hold pressure for this final 20. It is Scrub right between the eyes, and the Pioneers lead again. Not only can they hold on, they continue to build. Look at that touch from Hunter to set up Scrub. Gets there quickly. Two goals and now from Scrub, 10 in the tournament, as LJ gets blocked off to the corner. Banana head stopped by Arsenal. Here comes Space Station again. Hawks are for LJ. Oh! oh, he pulled the string on him. Off the bottom of the car to tie it. 12 seconds later, SSG strike back. Look at the speed there from LJ. He said, I'm you not letting you get back. excitement on the side of both teams. Now the pace of play has increased. That's a big pinch. Arsenal's there in time, looking for the follow-up touch. No one trying to let go of this game, but it's an open net. And Hoxter will put it in the back. SSG brings this series to match point. Oh, and that is just unlucky for Pioneers. He's having none of it. At the halfway mark, Pioneers hold the lead again, trying to add on to it now. Banana Head with a full tank of boost. He's waiting to see what Scrub can do. He can set him up with a beauty. Line up the double tap. No, but there is Hunter to clean it up. What a setup from Banana Head. I mean, you got to respect Banana Head when he has that space. And that's exactly what SSG did. A double commit on the play. Banana Head, though, Oxer setting it up. comes in from out of nowhere. Arsenal now with Oxer running interference, but Scrub is there defensively, and you know that Pioneers can kind of drop into this shell, which could be dangerous. Oh, Hunter creating on his own. Oh, my. Look at Hunter showing stuff there. Musty flick. Great follow-up. LJ tried to get a read on it, and he couldn't. Yo, and this series could be over real quick. Yeah, I think it's a mix of that and also Hunter's confidence, too. I mean, he, that last play, he tried to go for a double flip, he said, almost was able to get it. Probably would have made the difference there. Scrub! Oh, 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 he got it! Scrub off the ceiling, too! Pioneers, they're pulling out all the stops to get a goal! You know, we see guys go for this every now and then. We think, yeah, okay, that's real The cute. fact that they don't get demoed and they are also able to clear out the ball. Individual mechanics starting to level up here and has really been making the difference for Pioneers. Demo on the play, though, here. Arsenal with the shot and the net's just wide open. Physicality, the name of the game plan here as SSG takes the lead. Yeah, Arsenal after that demo. LJ tried to Booming steal clear, it, right? and that forces Banana Head back for a front row seat as he blocks LJ. No boost available there as it's taken away. They have nine boost as a team. Gotta find a way to get under this ball and Banana Head cannot. And Space Station Gaming moved to two and one here in the wild card. They take it in four, they close out the series and they do it in a strong, controlled fashion. Secret, seeing if they can build, that's their first shot of the game. And now they'll have to end up playing things off the back end. KV1 picking up a demo again keeping eyes out for him, and he's leading on the field, but it's an open lane and an open net for Archie, who will continue to extend Oxygen's lead. This could get out of hand real quick. Again, Team Secret letting the defense in behind him. He just kind of play into space. Oh, danger there. I mean, the biggest thing, though, is even with Sad brought the ball upfield, KV1 and Knight, they were behind the midfield line. 
This time Knight playing it close, and it pays off big time! He'll pick up his second goal, secret up 2-0. Hey, take note, rest of the world. It's amazing what happens when somebody happens to be there for a rebound opportunity. The ball poked away. Secret oxygen. Secret have the ball here. And they bring that one back to the midfield line. But here's Archie again in the air. We're seeing it time and time again. They bring the ball up. They try to see if they can knock it down. And he so does. Two minutes, 14 seconds into overtime, and Oxygen close it out. Look at Pixo. Oh my, what a shift. shot. Back to Team Secret. Can you slow him down after that? Archie's shot. Playing with a lot of confidence, but it was blocked out in front. Nobody's back this time. KV1 will take it home, and Secret's back up by two. And just when Oxygen thought they had something going, Jorius, that is crazy confidence to go up for that. That's what you the shots are almost equalized. They were last game here as well. It's been just waves and flows that have been exchanged here. That's a free look though. Instead, we'll punish him for it. Team Secret out in front. Well, well, well. Just what in the world? At so this nice comes up instead. Yeah, but I like where nice position there, right in that midfield line. Doesn't push himself too far forward. They know they need to be reactive in case Austin try to turn things around. Oh, that's not a good touch for oh, me, no. no! And KV1 will take it into his hands! This is an absolute nightmarish performance defensively from Ixo, who has, for the past two on, years, as Archie rotates back, looking for Ixo, found him, and now Archie will play it further into the corner. He got the boost steal. That denies KV1. The demolition, though, takes out Ixo. Does not matter. Archie creates on his own, and we're tied. Just give him the ball and let him cook. Archie in the kitchen gets a 50 pass one and gets the perfect light touch into the Jordan's top. Fortunately, able to get back, but still Oxygen are not working as a team on either side. They got to make sure they can't tunnel vision at this point. They need to be collected. They need to communicate. Jory's in a tough spot. And Knight, again, he strikes. Two goal lead for Secret as we go into the final minute. Lonely is the night when you're all as alone Knight tries to dance in, and we tick down the final few seconds. Team Secret will go into Sunday 2-1, and one. one series away from the main event, and Oxygen has a little bit of soul searching to do as they'll need to win twice to join everybody else in the Cool Kids Club. Team Ready to go, Secret. you'll be able to see the teams that have qualified and teams that have been eliminated, but here are the rounds for tomorrow. We will have Twisted Minds playing against Crew. We'll have Secret oh. taking on Complexity. Huh. Space Station Moist sounds pretty juicy. And then in the elimination side of things, Elevate versus KCP, G1 versus Oxygen, and Limitless versus Power. And the pressure of elimination is going to shake up those matches significantly, Cole. Yeah, it changed.